So we did an overview of the contouring steps, but we didn't really do the steps. So let's go ahead and do that. If I want to contour this object, I'm going to type in the contour command, and I'm going to pick my base point, which wants to be my bottom corner. And I find it easier to switch to the front view in order to pick the direction so that I know that I'm picking a 90 degree angle from the base plate. Now I want to indicate the distance of the contours which will be associated with the thickness of the material I'm going to use. So I'm going to choose 1 8 of an inch, which I can also indicate as 0.125 inches. I've already scaled my model. So the program will run the operation and create the contours, and I've just moved them to the side so you can see kind of how they're looking from this perspective. We'll look at it in the top view as well. And I don't need my bottom contour. Each contour is creating a 1 8 inch piece of material that will exist below the contour. So the bottom isn't really necessary. So you can see as I cycle through that I have several groups and those are my cut profiles. They've been grouped together so now as I move them to the side it should be fairly easy to keep them together and edit them as necessary. So I've moved all of these contours out and you can see there's a kind of clear progression, but they also clearly need a lot of editing. I really only want for the profile to contain the outer perimeter of the cut line and then any interior cuts as well. But you can see I have a lot of overlapping lines that I really don't need. So I will need to come back and use some trimming some editing. I'll probably need to do a little bit of exploding and rejoining these different pieces together. And I may find that I have duplicates when I click on an item. If I see sort of two curves, that means I've got one thing on top of another thing. So it may be in the, the way that I drew that I have something, you know, within that same cutting plane that is appearing as the same line twice. So I'll need to clean that up. We don't want to send duplicate lines to the, um, the laser cutter. So if you do have those duplicates, use the command cell dupe all in order to find where those overlapping lines are. So in order to test whether these contours make sense and whether they're working, I have extruded all of them to that 1 8 inch depth so that they are a little bit more like a piece of cardboard. And now as I stack them on top of each other, I can kind of see how that physical material is going to work too. But I'm just testing it with a couple of the pieces to see how it, it looks and it seems to be working pretty well. I also want to show you on this last piece where I have a solid going over the layer that has my line drawing. And so you can kind of see that some of those lines are going to disappear, but it will work pretty well.